Hello, hello. This is another episode of Women's in the Trailer Industry. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Lacey. And today we have a special guest, Crystal Likens, with us. Hey. In a previous episode, we talked about work and life balance um, and what that looks like for us. And in this episode, we have our co-worker and badass with us yes. to kind of share her experiences with the work and home life balance and just jump right in. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, Crystal. We are excited to have our first guest on our podcast. Oh, I'm the first? Oh, absolutely. Yes, you I are our about first that. guest. <laughs> yeah, so we appreciate you being here. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do for the company? and um, I work in the accounting department. Uh we recently decided upon my title. What was what? that again? Billing specialist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm the billing specialist for the trailer parts outlet. And I work a little bit with accounts receivable and anything else that needs to be thrown at me as far as accounting purposes go. And you work nice. from home? Yes, 24-7. It never stops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and you're a mom. Tell us about... Um, mom of... Three. Mom of three. How old yeah. are your kids? Um, one of them is, she's 12, right? <laughs> 11. She's, she's referring 11? to her the husband. director, her husband. <laughs> <laughs> he can cut things out, right? <laughs> yeah. okay. He probably Ish. won't. She's probably letting yes. this one go full oh. sin. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, okay. shout out to the Lawrence podcast. I love it. <laughs> okay, right. let's three oh. on the track. Podcast drop it here. <laughs> yeah, oh, one. That's oh, one. Saying. Okay, so three kids. One's 12. One's turning eight tomorrow. And the other one is going to be two this year awesome. in April. So, nice. yeah. Thankfully, I've got the older one because she can change poopy diapers. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> always a good thing. I need one of those. Well, yeah. you've been with us since 2018. You've 2018. Yeah, right? so almost five years. Yeah. Going on five years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Four or five years. And uh, you were with us the whole time you were pregnant, your new baby. Mm-hmm. And, um, how did that all work out while working and two kids and um, pregnancy? And then pretty much you delivery. saved me during that time period <laughs> because we were just going under COVID lockdowns, the first round of them, and nobody knew how to get anybody a birth certificate. You were like, just continue not working for another week I've got things you get her birth certificate and because I was freaking out and I think you could tell <laughs> <laughs> yeah but what so. you haven't said yet is not only do you work from home but you homeschool your kids so tell us a little yeah. bit about that how does that work what is it what is a day in Crystal's life look uh, like day in Crystal's life starts at about six in the morning and then as quickly as possible, get everybody ready for the day, try to have breakfast in a couple minutes with just, you know, focusing on the kids, make them feel loved. And then everybody just gets going on their stuff. Thankfully, they have video lessons. So, oh, well, that's good. That takes I, a I lot didn't really know how plate. that works. So, so they could pretty much follow the video and, and that's how it works. Yes. Yeah. So, so you're just helping with questions as they have them. Yes. I'm going through the fifth grade and learning how to do division and multiplication all over again <laughs> along with all the other I feel like that's things. every parent yes. at, like when their kids are going through school because every well, year there's there like a, a new TV way show? of learning mm-hmm. it you know so the kids come home and they're yeah. like no mom you do it this way and they're like that's not how I learned what are you talking <laughs> they about know. The they're using the same homeschooling curriculum I used when I was growing up oh well, and awesome it's pretty much the same with Becca so yeah, basically the same. Yeah. So it's not so difficult in that aspect of, as in the one of, I just don't remember anything. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you prioritize your day to figure out like, okay, so you have this deadline for work. How am I going to get that done? Because I'm trying to figure out all the other things with little ones running around. Well, and okay. Not stay clocked in for 24 hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's impossible, right? You could say it. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully... We have it set up where we work only on schoolwork for four days out of our week. And we save Wednesdays for Wednesdays, I can speak, for (laughs) extracurricular activities and um, catch up days. So if anything does get behind, because say my oldest or my youngest has to help watch the baby so I can do something for work, um, 
that way they can catch up on their stuff on that's a Wednesday. Awesome. That's a good thing to figure out. Yeah, I don't really have a catch up day with work. So Yeah. <laughs> we know all too well. Five days a week, baby. <laughs> yeah, so we make their schedule catch up a bowl because mine is not. Mm-hmm. And so far that has worked out very well. Good. That's awesome. I remember whenever so before I started here, like well, before I started here full time, which was really like in the I worked full time from home is what I'm trying to say in a long way. Oh, you way. did it too. Yeah. So for a long time, I worked from home. And well, I guess I forget that. I guess tried to get everything. And yeah, then. I tried to get everything done at home. And you know, then I remember back to that where I was just you just figure out a way to make it work, right? So for all yeah. you stay at home moms <laughs> and work from home moms, my gosh, like you somehow you just figure it out. You find your way and your groove. Usually means probably some really late nights. Always when your kids are sleeping, you get the best work done, right? Yes. Um, but yeah. I remember that. And so now when I have the kids at home, so I have them usually on Fridays, and I look at them like, how did I get anything <laughs> done? Like when you step how away from home. I would say for me, when I have to go work from home with the kids, nothing gets done. So if I say I'm working from home, it's going to be after 5 p.m. You're because either like all in practiced on like and knowing yeah. how to do it or you're all out. Like for me. That's how well, it both is. of yours are way younger than mine and closer together in yeah. their age. So it's not like, okay, you go take care of your sibling for me. Yes. Well, I get this done. It's for sure. It's great, crazy yeah, chaos. I don't know how you guys <laughs> did that. Any kind of working at home. That makes no sense to me because I've got a 12 year old that does stuff for me. Yeah. Luckily, only mine is briefly. So true. Yeah. I have to do it once and every now and then. Yeah. And we just figure it out. Um, but we, so what are, what would be something that you think generally would be a good advice for any of the, you know, stay-at-home moms or work-from-home moms, you know, or parents, work-from-home parents? I mean, it could be mom or dad. You need a stand-up desk. <laughs> they can't reach you if you're standing up. True statement. <laughs> that is a good you idea. You've got to have a stand-up. Actually, I've got a stand-up workbench that I turned into a desk. i got to crank that sucker, and it takes forever, but I think I've got an arm going on because of it, you know? So, <laughs> Keith, are we putting a request to have a video yes. of her cranking her desk? Yes. <laughs> we need to see yeah. that. And because babies know when you sit down. That's right. They do. Somehow they know. Yes. So, if you stand up with them attached to you, you can dance and work at the same time, and they'll stay asleep. <laughs> that I knew he would have something that was good that everybody needed to know about. Just about this size stand-up desk, and that's what you do. Mm-hmm. And take full advantage of nap time, obviously. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> nap time the two older kids, fast. even if it is your break time, go and do more schoolwork. We are all getting as much done as possible. She's asleep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. But I think we just wanted to really just give a shout out to. Work from home moms, you're rocking it. I mean, you are a great example. You guys have of done it too, done. yeah. <laughs> and uh, stay at home moms, stay at home parents. I mean, y'all do work too. If you're home and you're having all to take care work. of the house and get everything together, I mean, just shout out to all you guys for rocking it. You keep going, keep doing it. Absolutely. But we just want to really thank you for being here today. Thank you for sharing your examples. Thank you for entertaining us for this yeah. chaotic <laughs> podcast. Hey, and giving us some lessons on how we need to operate when we work. For <laughs> sure. So, for kit, sure. stand-up desks and Moby wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Um, maybe it's a surprise of what we're going to talk about next week. Today's surprise. definitely a surprise today because I had no idea what we were talking about. <laughs> For, yeah. only, yeah. <laughs> For a typical work week. <laughs> let's, just, let's just specify that. Like, we don't overwork. <laughs> no. We do not pay that much overtime. And we do not work her to death. <laughs> <laughs> On our accord. Yeah. <laughs> On her own accord, I don't know. I have had multiple dreams, I feel, that have, like, invaded my personal space about the trailer parts outlet, though. <laughs> like, I should have. not be dreaming about being, like, on a unicorn, pulling a trailer behind me in a panda bear fur outfit. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. So, are we still The panda fur outfit is, like, you your fault. that clip in the panda bear outfit from Christmas. So, yes. everyone has reference to what she's talking about. Oh, no, the panda fur thing was your fault because you said you dreamed about me wearing panda fur after I asked if you were buying me some. <laughs>
<laughs> and somehow that it. got into my dream the other night, and I was like, how did I go from billing to this? Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. Oh, what the dreams. The dreams. The dreams. <laughs> <laughs> it's our life. I mean, we spent so much time thinking about how to do things, it oh, just no. makes sense that it should be dreamed about. <laughs> my brain just wanted to take an interesting turn. <laughs> Unicorns. <laughs> Pulling trailers. <laughs> well, that was from a previous dream I had. Cantlin was going to fire me. Oh. So I had to get her a unicorn so she wouldn't... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's nice. nice. I can't even. I can't even. You need help picking this stuff up? Uh, he needs help with why. <laughs>